Hey friends, I hope you're doing well today. I wanna to paint a horse on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It's gallery wrapped, I tightened it up. I can link how to tighten up canvases in, a, in this video description. Oh, inch and a half thick. Here, actually this would probably be better. I think Jerry's Artorama sells these. It's Creative Mark the Edge. So 12 by 12, inch and a half deep. I, I like these canvases. I really like the ones from Michaels because I can get great sales on them and they're really nice quality canvases. Um, but I like this one just as much. Oh, and I was gonna tell you, you may or may not like it's beveled. So instead of being straight down, um, they, I don't know if you can see that, they bevel it in there, that's kind of neat. Okay, so here the horse traceables on my website, annietro.com. Isn't that fun? We're doing a horse portrait. Here's a photo of the horse. I don't, it's, it's light, so I can see the detail. I lightened it up in Photoshop, cropped it. I'll link the photo reference in this video's description. This might be a little different. I'm gonna put it on a black background, so I made the background black in Photoshop. I'm getting glare and re weird reflections, so I don't know if that's working so well. Okay, I'm gonna paint it my canvas black, so I wrote on it, gotta write the word love on it when you start. I wrote on it in chalk pastel. Uh, this is a Prismacolor new pastel. In case you wanna see that. I have a couple different brands here in my studio. The new pastels aren't as, uh, they don't crumble as much, they're harder. You might like that. And then I'm gonna paint it black with Liquitex Basic Mars Black. And if you buy a black canvas, so I don't forget, paint it with the black you have in your studio because that black canvas will be a slightly different color than your black paint in case you want to touch something up in the background. Okay, let's get started. Hey, I thought I'd pop in. I use the photo as a traceable. You can use the traceable I set up that's on my website. I just, I don't know why I decided to do the photo. And then you can see here that I printed it out. Um, I used Adobe Acrobat and it prints what I call tiles or prints it as a poster. Here, let's just take this off. There's a link on my traceable landing page to a gal who shows you how to do that. I didn't feel like I should redo a video when she did such a great job. But you can see it's just pieces of paper I cut out and taped together. Tape it on this side, because the chalk pastel won't stick to the tape. I used Hippie Crafter Chalk Pastel. I've got a really neat set. They're not sponsoring this video. I just like them because they don't leave quite as much dust. I use this yellow one. You might like them too. You could use any chalk pastel. There is an affiliate link in this video if you're interested and it, it, there's also a disclaimer um, that I do make just a little bit of money if you purchase through that link. If you don't want to, no problem, just skip over that information. Oh, here's what, they, here's what it looks like if that interests you. Okay, that turned into more of a commercial than I planned on. I really like how the Blick Mars Black covered. I used a two inch brush. And I, I was kind of going in one direction, then I realized that the light will catch the brush strokes. So I ended up going over with a second coat in just different directions. I don't know if you're catching that on the video. I'm gonna probably find some edges, find that eye, cause it's right, it ended up being right on the seam. It would be better to probably to print to do the eight by eight traceable, cause then you'll get a better, better tracing of the eye. And I'll be back in a bit.
friends. I thought I'd pop in with a few thoughts. I'm going to paint maybe just a little bit more uh, down than we'll have the live tomorrow. And I'll, pro I'll probably work on this part during the live. It'll be a little more interesting if it moves faster than like if I'm working in the eye and it's really slow and it's small. <laughs> um, I'm just think of, tell you what I'm kind of thinking here. I'm thinking it might be too light. Let me um, pull up on my iPad the photo. It's going to probably be bad with the lights and stuff. Let's see here. Can you see? Oh, look at the bad glare. Oh, maybe the painting isn't too light. I'll know better when I get more of the horse in. Well, there you can it kind of adjust a little bit better. Sorry about the glare. It's my overhead light in my studio. So I'm not sure about the values. When, I, when I'm painting it, I'm thinking this is too strong. But it might not be. I'm going to paint some of the horse's body and let it fade out into the black. So it might be kind of nice. I'm painting shapes. You know, I'll find different shapes, put down some color that I think is close, both in value and hue or color. And then I, you know, I'm just kind of working up to it. Like this mouth, I think it needs to be a little lighter in here and it has some little dots on it. Nothing's really done. And I thought you might want to take a little tour. And then I'll pop back in after the live and let you know that I'm back painting this. That sounded kind of funny. I'm painting it the whole time. <laughs> Just let you know what bit was the last little bit was the live. So nothing's really done. And I'm I'm thinking it it's it smooths it out when I hold it back. It's gonna look better than when you get close. So it's just, it's really the same. I'm just finding shapes and putting pieces of the puzzle together. It did help me to paint the strap first. I've darkened the eye. I think it might need to be a little darker. We'll just have to see how it looks. Color is relative to the color around it. So you kind of, you well for me, I paint a layer and I could blend wet on wet in that layer or just dry. I've got, I think I'm doing so many shapes, I don't have a, too much wet on wet. Maybe a little wet on wet right there, those kinds of areas. Finding the shapes of the strap. I'll definitely dark, both darken and put a highlight on that gold ring or that brass ring. Here's a close up of the ears. See, the ears are quite rough. But it helps me figure out if I'm on the right track. You know, if I want to change things up. Get is basically kind of like structure or finding the edges on a puzzle. Well, I hope those comments help. I think it's it's been fun. It's it's been a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be to paint on black. I've done so many either white canvases or sort of medium to light background, like a blue or a yellow background. But this has actually been a fun challenge so far and I'm I'm excited to see how it goes. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
okay that last little bit was alive i went for a walk uh set up the next live and now that i'm looking at this this needs to be lighter i think i need to bring this dark shadow over a little bit um kind of tie in this actually ties in but i think it's all too dark i don't know i don't know well i kind of have to play with it but i think this makes the, the these little areas being light makes it pop out too much i think this needs to come up oh yeah it does because my little square there's a little black square i don't know if you can see it it's not black there's a dark that i kind of want to keep but it's this needs to be lighter um so i'm gonna i'm toying with the idea of putting in this actually looks pretty good. I might even be done. Just keep it soft and simple. I like how it fades out, but I'm also toying with the idea of bringing, bringing a little bit of the horse this way. Which would make, I, I don't know. I kind of have an interesting black shape here, but it would cut it off too. Can overthink these things. <laughs> I think I may do that. And then I'm just going to keep working on this and ref now I'm going to go back and refine it. And I, I put in this uh, black spot that I talked about in the live. I didn't know what it is. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe some fur came off. I don't know. And then there's kind of a leaf shape spot. So I kind of put in a little bit like the tip of it and I put, put this in, but I like it because I can lose an edge. So that's another thing I'm going to start looking at, you know, do I want to make this, keep this pretty soft, or do I want to make it stronger, just totally lose this edge? Because you don't really need it. Your eye completes the line anyway. That sort of thing. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Let's take a look. I think this turned out really cool. I added, I'm, I'll give you a closer tour. I added a little bit of yellow right here on the nose, which I think is neat. I don't know that it shows at this distance. And a little yellow up here to help uh, pull out the warm colors I have in the ears or help unify a little bit. Um, and there's also a little yellow in the, the brass rings. I ended up putting in 
the back side of the horse just faintly, which I think is really neat. And of course my favorite part, actually one of my favorite parts is all the leather. That was fun. But my, my favorite, favorite part is the hair because it's fun. It's looser. Okay, let's take a little tour. So there you can see the ears and the hair a little bit better. The mane. Let's see, I'm trying to decide. The eye, I love the eye lighter than it is in the reference photo. I do that quite a bit. But I think with all the light highlights I have, I think it works. Yeah, when I move it back, it works great. Another neat thing about this one is when there's not that many lights in the room, it's even softer and more subtle, which is fun. Here, look, I really like that I have, I didn't, I didn't paint every hair. There's like a zillion hairs I could see. But I just painted a few. And then when they come around here into the darker area, they get a little darker. Maybe you went a little closer. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I've really gotten to know a horse face, horse head better. Uh, the traceable's on my website, anitro.com. I really, really appreciate your support and your friendship. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.